Increasing job insecurity in Malawi has led to many youths feeling hopeless, although being graduates from different colleges of the country. The government of Malawi, through the Ministry of Labor, Youth, Sports, Manpower and Development, found it necessary to implement a music program to train the youths in music so that they can use their musical skills as a way of generating income. The government-owned program started on the 21st of May 2016. This program drew participants from within Cholo, and Blanta districts with Mibawa Studios as an implementing agency. The music trainees underwent auditions as a way of gauging their talent in music before they were accepted into the program. The turnout for this program was overwhelming due to the lack of youth initiatives and lack of employment in the country. The auditions were conducted in Bangwe, Machinjiri, Ndirande, Chiromoni, Chirobwe, Jacaranda Orphanage, Kondandani Children's Village, and Cholo District. In these districts, there were three categories for auditions, band formation, group music recording, and individual music recording. Out of the 566 individuals who were auditioned, 43 were selected and 11 of them were females. They trained as keyboard players, drummers, guitarists, and vocalists. The intention was to make several successful bands out of all the participants. Out of this group, seven vocalists who performed well were selected for individual album recording. Of the 43 musical groups auditioned, 23 were selected for recording. Mibawa Studios were given the responsibility of grooming the selected students using well-experienced music trainers, as well as a studio producer who produced 300 songs, making 30 music albums. After a month of training, students who were selected for band formation were grouped into four powerful bands. They were given songs to memorize, practice, and finally they gave a live performance. The first performances took place at Mibawa Multipurpose Hall. This is how it was. We would like to recognize the presence of our sponsors. We would like to recognize the presence of Mr. Charles Mabonga from UNICEF. Mr. Marcel Chisi, the director of AISE, and Mr. John Takoma from Mibawa, I would like to welcome you to this um, occasion. Um, our first band performance will be done by Norway Gospel Band. <laughs>
Mr. John Takoma, CEO of Mibawa Limited, has a great passion for music and proved to be a valuable asset to the program. Representatives from government, UNICEF, IEC, and members of the general public came to see for themselves on how the music trainees were performing. <laughs> To thank everybody here, um, thank our friends from Finland, um, but obviously all our partners here, but in particular obviously um, the young people and um, their talent, and I think um, what it shows is that in the end what it is, um, you need is opportunities. Um, you need space, you need um, space to create, to explore, and you need the support um, to do so, and I think this is a, a great example, and then in the end obviously also, and just now we saw it, how you play together as a team. And um, so it's a lot, not only obviously developing your own potential, which is very important, but developing your own potential in a, in a socially um, responsible manner and um, constructing and giving back to the community. And um, obviously we hope also that um, some new stars will be here, um, but also stars that in the end will give back and will really um, ask us as, or be an example for others to emulate and that um, young people see yes, there is, a, there is a way, there is a future and I think um, that's the key message and um, just, well, it was just fun um, to be in a creative space with young people. So thank you. Thank you. 